What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So I'm gonna check out Mike Kyoto on the Undertaker versus Goldberg going wrong. This should be a very interesting video. Mike Kyoto giving his perspective on what went wrong with Goldberg and the Undertaker. Um we all were looking forward to potentially seeing this match when they've been they have been teasing it and they finally um, you know announced it and decided to have the match and it it did not meet anyone's expectations uh i've never actually still seen this match in its full entirety because i just choose not to see these legends in the western uh, wrestling business just flop around and and just it, it just it didn't work and it, it looked bad and even the wrestlers themselves uh can agree that was a uh, pretty abysmal match they had overseas so we're gonna check out what mike yoda has to say on his perspective of things and uh should be an interesting one let's get right into this one man. moments too and i think that undertaker versus goldberg right right that could have been real scary yeah i mean you know the travel was brutal chris i mean it was brutal we get into uh to saudi arabia i remember we were we got in the night before everybody <clears throat> was in total different time zone sometimes jet lag kicks in like the day later mm. when these long trips occur and stuff and i remember we, Hey nope. man, I'm not sure what time piece Mike Kyoto got, but that looked like a, a nice time piece, a nice watch he has, man. If y'all know what brand and what type of uh what type of time piece he's rocking, let me know. Cause hey, you can tell a good brand watch a lot of times, and you know, my boy Mike Kyoto, you know what I'm saying? He, he probably living pretty good, living pretty comfortably to have a nice little time piece like that. It looks pretty cool. We just didn't go to Saudi. We came off a of TV and we did this. Then we had to go to Saudi. Um, Might have come off some live events probably that weekend into TV, then into Saudi. Um, so we got to Saudi Arabia. And I remember, like, you know, people weren't really getting to sleep. Like, you know, you didn't get in there at 9, 10 o'clock and go, okay, I'm getting ready to go right to sleep because you slept a lot on the plane. Yeah. Time zone's different. Um, I remember it was about 125 degrees. Jeez. And I remember we went out to the. The malls didn't open till nine o'clock at night, and a lot of stuff didn't open until oh, nine. Oh, because it was colder at night. It was just damn. But it was maybe about that's wild that things didn't open up till like later on that night. Damn, at a hundred or ninety, you know, ninety-five <laughs> oh, wow. degrees at night, a hundred. So it was just you know, the sun went down, and that's when people went to work, construction and stuff like that. Their hottest time of the year. Um, so I remember we, you know, a lot of us didn't get good sleep. We get to the arena, we're there all day. He does take her, and I was, I don't, I believe we went on at like midnight. Mm. And I remember going through the locker rooms at that, like, you know, nine, ten o'clock. You know, show was going on. The show went for a while. Everybody's sleeping in the locker rooms. Wow. Passed out because of jet lag. Everybody was tired, man. So I know we were exhausted. Damn, they didn't even go on till midnight. Jesus. Totally going into midnight. Yeah. I was. Taker, I'm sure it was. Yeah. But, you know, take, you know, and some people were always saying, like, you know, Goldberg came out of the dress room and was hitting his head on the, on the thing, which I, I was in the ring at the time. So, and I didn't see, you know, they showed a little gash when he came out. But Goldberg was fine to me because when he came in the ring, he called the whole match back to me. Mm. You know, when he got in the ring, mm. his Taker had this, you know, phenomenal entrance. It was awesome entrance of course it takes like 10 minutes <laughs> of course is, you know that's one of the best entrances in wrestling yeah. my opinion yeah. um so it, i mean it is the best and he called you know and, and he goes hey let me call this back to you and i'm like okay cool you know and he just he gave he was running back spots to spots and it was cool i wanted to hear it too so i made sure i had everything yeah. just, you know straight nothing changed before the match yeah so everything was good until he hit that turnbuckle and post mm -hmm. you know and it, it just went on down from yep. Man, so. Yeah, he couldn't get Undertaker up for the jackhammer. Nah. Mm -mm. That was Woo. that was scary, real scary, it was real scary, man. And you know, if you if you watch that match back again, when Taker at the finish on the end of that match, he's just sitting up, looking around, pissed, like just mm -hmm. kind of looked upset, you know, like mm. frustrated because you know I know Taker got jammed up a little bit too, you know, so sure. he just it, it almost like he went out of character right there. You know, it wasn't in his normal Undertaker mm. character. 
he was just, he had a lot on his mind. He was just looking around. I'm just sitting on the outside of the ring going, oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, you can see it on his face. You can see the displeasure. He knew that match was not good at all. It wasn't. And it just, you know, with him adding the extra caveats of the weather, it being ridiculously hot out there and it's nighttime, people dealing with jet lag, people are tired. I didn't even know they were out there at midnight, you know what I'm saying? So with him explaining all those extra factors, external factors, I can understand why, you know, they didn't have some of the, you know, the conditions weren't right for them even you know out before they even got in the ring maybe their younger selves they probably could have pulled off a much better match for sure but they're much older and you're dealing with jet lag you're dealing with this time difference you're dealing with the excessive amount of heat uh excessive excessive amount of heat you know the older you get it's hard for you to bounce back from those external factors so i i I appreciate him even coming out talking about this because it does give that asterisk to why the match on paper looked good, but in execution, considering where they were, it didn't play out as well. So, and then once uh, Goldberg got concussed, it was GG's. That man's pissed, you know. But you know, thank God everything worked out. You know, like everything we got through that night. And I remember trying to talk to Gorilla, going, "What do I do? You know, what do I do, man? Do I stop it? He's getting worse. He's getting worse. Yeah, he's getting worse." Billy's like, stand by, Kyoto. I'm like, guys, let me know. He's just, he's getting worse because he didn't come off the rope. He was on the rope one time. He wouldn't come off it. I'm like, yo, he, you know, when I first asked him, he was like, I'm okay, I'm okay. But then he just started getting worse. You know, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. He wasn't Gosh, okay. He really kicked in. And um, I didn't hear anything from Gorilla at that point. I'm thinking, holy shit, like. I know they paid us a lot of money to be here. I know mm-hmm. they paid the talent, I think, a lot of money. I think Goldberg got a couple million. This one got this. I got my 200. You know, uh, <laughs> just, a, just a slight, just a slight 200K. We're not talking about $200. I, I definitely don't think they were talking about $200. 200K. See why you got that nice watch. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. 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 It, Too it many. Was like you know, they paid us a lot of money. Sure. Thinking, we got to finish this like the old school way, you know, and Ooh. we did finish it barely, you know. And Dead Man's leader of the ring, man. He's the he's the Godfather. Oh no! What did he say? Paid us a lot of money. Sure. It's like you know, they paid us a lot of money. Sure. We got to finish this like the old school way, you know, and. Ooh. We did finish it barely, mm. you know. And Dead Man's leader of the ring, man. He's the he's the godfather of business. So sure. anybody to be in there with it would be a taker, that's for sure. Yeah, man. It was it was only so much he can do. It was literally only so much he can do. I, I know he was asking them, "Hey, what what should I do, guys?" And they were kind of pretty much just silent because <laughs> it's like. You know, for him, that's probably a tough position because he got to also make sure that the wrestlers is good as well. You know, he he cares about uh, the wrestler's safety as well. So it's like, damn, like, what do I do? Do I call this match off? But this is a very big, high profile match. And, you know, people are making a lot of money off this. But Goldberg's out of it. So I don't. What do I do? You know what I'm saying? Like it, that's that's the 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 interesting question. I'm sure he was just thinking about what do I do because they're not telling me what to do. And Gorilla, I'm confused. I don't want to make the wrong decision here. But either way, this match it just it wasn't it. You know, a lot of external factors, them being the A's that they were at, you know, and then once Goldberg got concussed, it was over. So comment down below. Let me know you want me to check out some more of uh, more clips from this uh, particular interview involving uh, Mike Chiodi. He has some more stories. I see one uh, where he was uh, repping the, uh, the match between Kurt Angle and Shane McMahon. And, you know, I, I, I'm. I'm guessing at some point Vince wanted him to call to stop the match or whatnot. Especially if y'all remember that infamous suplex through the glass spot. And uh, <laughs> uh, Shane didn't go through it the first time and fell on his head. 
you know I'm, I'm very interested to see you know how that played out too i see that as one of the recommended videos um so if you guys want me to check that out i definitely will but i appreciate all love and support you guys showing on the channel road to 150k and i'm still getting speed to youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace